What's up everybody? It's LT Giles here and this is story time with LT number nine. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I prefer the sakis. I'm lying, I drink beer every weekend. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna take place back wow. Somewhere in between ninety three and no, okay, uh maybe like ninety six, ninety seven ish. I can't remember exactly what year, but okay, so my brother used to watch me a lot, and, well, my mom, she had a boyfriend at the time, and she went on a road trip with him. He was a truck driver, and my, my brother was watching me, and I wanted to go spend a night at my friend's house, specifically because I had a thing with his sister, and my brother wasn't trying to let me go, and back in the day, me, my brother, my friend Calvin, my friend Robert, we all would play Madden on the Sega. A lot of you youngsters watching probably don't play Sega or probably don't even know what little Sega was. But we would play Madden and, um, you know, have our battles and stuff. My brother would usually always beat me. And so I told my brother, I said, <laughs> I could beat you. If I could beat you in Madden, I got to go. I get to go. He was like, okay, all right. And so I beat my brother and I ended up going over there and it was awesome. <laughs> And um, another story, um, my brother was like my, you know, in a way he was like, he would, he would help my mom out a lot with me because I would go out and sneak out and stuff and try and do my thing and stuff and, and just not come back in all hours. And there was one night where I stayed up way past my curfew and I think my mom was at home or she was sleeping. I can't remember. And I, I come in the house and right away. My brother says, I, I thought he said I'm tired, but he said I'm tired of shit. And he fucking punched me. And I got a bloody nose. And I didn't fight him back. I ran out the house. And there was this desert, like, right by our apartments. And in the desert, there was, like, um, you know, basically nothing. But I went over there because I would go over there a lot, you know, at nighttime. And just um, sometimes look at the stars and chill. And um, so I ran over there. My brother ran after me. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere... This big, tall guy, I mean, I swear this dude was, like, fucking, like, at least 6'5". But, I mean, being younger and little, I don't know how tall this guy was specifically. But he came out of nowhere. I don't know where he... And this guy was huge. And he was bleeding, too. And he started saying, you guys are the ones who jumped me. And all this. And we're, we're like, me and my brother were like, pause. We didn't say nothing. And all of a sudden, the guy started leaving. And he's like... The devil's got your soul. The devil's got your... It was so creepy, guys. I mean, I remember... what I remember this dude. And I'm telling you guys, it was creepy. And I'll never forget it, man. And, you know, after that, we went home. And funny thing is, I was still bleeding. I still had blood in my mouth. And that's why the guy probably said that. Because, you know, he got jumped or whatever. But, I mean, the dude was tripping. And, uh, you know, I don't know what was going on with that guy. But, man, it was scary. And, um... Yeah, but th th that's, um, that was a crazy time, you know, and I know I'm wearing my Niner gear, my Niner shirt, we lost. It's funny because Jane Bichelle, or not Jane Bichelle, I'm sorry, Jerry the Chargarian Steamboat, he said, um, when Texas got beat by Notre Dame, he said it was why, all, like the Red Wedding all over again, that's how I felt today with the Steelers killing my Niners, it's like, they destroyed us and there was no stopping their long game or whatever but um yeah guys it's been story time with lt number nine and um hope to see you guys back next week um I'll, of course i'm gonna be reviewing fear of the walking dead and um the bastards executioner so love to see you guys back next week for story time with lt number 10 lt out peace